Welcome to BIM 360 Design Part 2. My name is Bill Niddle, and I am an AEC Applications Consultant here at Synergis Engineering Design Solutions. In the previous video, I explained how to set up your BIM 360 account and create a BIM 360 project. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps to add project members and teams to your BIM 360 project. With a BIM 360 project established, it is now necessary to focus attention on populating it with project members. Project members can represent members from your company's BIM 360 account as well as members from other BIM 360 accounts. As I mentioned in Part 1, members of other BIM 360 accounts can bring their own BIM 360 design license to your project. To add project members for BIM 360 design, you as the admin for the project must start from the project admin module of your new BIM 360 project. Like the account admin module, the project admin module is only accessible to admins assigned to the project. It too provides tabs to access the various features of the project, which include its members, companies, services, and profile. First, you'll want to select the members tab to display the list of project members. Then, you will select the add button. If the new project member exists in your member directory of your BIM360 account, you can enter their name. Otherwise, you'll need to enter their email address. You can continue to add more members to the project either way. Once entered, you'll select the Select button. The new project members will appear in the list below. If the new project member exists in your member directory of your BIM360 account, you will not have to enter their company or role. Otherwise, you will need to enter a name for their company and a role. To the right of each new project member is the services associated to the project you must ensure that the member has access to use the document management and design collaboration services. If a no access symbol displays for the service, select it to allow the new member access. Selecting a no access symbol under the project admin service will make the project member a project admin for all the active services. Finally, select the add to project button to finish adding the selected members to the project. An invitation email is immediately sent to the individuals to access the project. To the right, a filter indicates the services and the number of associated members. Also noteworthy, the Companies tab can provide access to newly added companies whereby an account admin can update the company's profile. With the project members for the BIM360 design service added, teams can now be created to collaborate with Revit models. This is a new feature of BIM360 design compared to its predecessor C4R. Essentially, a team is designed to represent a single design firm of Revit users. To create a team, you must first select the Services tab. On the left, you'll need to select the Design Collaboration Service. Next, you will select the Add Team button. In the Add Teams dialog, you will need to enter a name for the new team. This could be the name of the company or the trade it supports. Creating a team creates a team folder in the document management module and a team space in the design collaboration module. The default location for the new team's folder can be found under the project files directory. You can also pre-create folders under the project files directory within the document management module and point the team to the folder. Finally, you'll select the add button to add the team to the project, at which point you can select the close button. This process can be repeated to create additional teams for other trades. Now that the teams are established, it's time to add the appropriate project members to them. Select the checkbox for the team to add project members to. Next, select the Manage Team Members button above. Enter the name, company, or role of the member in the provided field. For example, I'll enter the name of the company. Before I add them, I'll need to select the permission level of the company. At a minimum, you must select View and Edit. However, the share permission will allow the team members to use the new package's workflow. Selecting the Add button will add the company of members to the team folder. It is worth noting that only project members from that company can access the project, team folder, and team space. Finally, you can select the Close button. This process can be repeated for each team.
You can explore the results of your work by going to the module selector to switch to the document management module. If you expand the project files directory, you will see a list of team folders and one shared folder. Only members of a given team have access to their team's folder, but all the team members have access to the shared folder. Within the shared folder is a folder for each team. Packages created by a given team will be copied to that team's folder within the shared folder. If consumed by another team, the packages will be copied from the shared folder to the team's consumed folder. Finally, you can explore the space in which packages will be created, viewed, and consumed by going to the Design Collaboration module within the module selector. If you expand the timeline once, it displays the swim lanes for the current team and the shared folder. If you expand it again, you'll see each team's swim lane. When packages are in play, they will display as nodes on each of the team's swim lanes, or on the shared lane. As an admin for each team, you can select a team from the timeline to view that team's space. The region below is where the team can view sets published from Revit to be composed into a package, or open a package from another team for view and consumption. Congratulations, you're now ready for part three implementing the BIM 360 design workflow.